The laws in South Carolina could be changed to further protect children. This after Citadel leaders admitted they should have done more when approached about claims of child sexual abuse. ABC News Force Natalie Callis joining us live from the control room with details. Natalie, what may be changing? Well, Dean, currently only certain people are required by law to report claims of child sexual abuse, like clergy and medical providers. But a new proposed bill would require anyone to report these claims and report them to police. Attorney Peter McCoy has seen it up close. The very first case I tried was a child sex abuse case, and I'll never forget it. Now McCoy is a state representative and hopes to get a law changed in South Carolina. When we look at the current law in South Carolina, it says only certain amount of people are required to uh, uh, alert the authorities if they know about a child sexual abuse case. What my bill is going to do is basically replace that specific group of people with saying, hey, if anybody knows that child sexual abuse has happened or gone on, then you have to report it, period. The current law has been changed several times in light of loopholes. McCoy hopes this will end any wiggle room. This bill is going to clarify everything. It's going to clear up any kind of um, distinction that might be out there in the public. The move comes just four days after the Citadel admitted they did not call police when confronted with allegations of child sexual abuse. President of the Citadel, Lieutenant General John Rosa, says he should have done more. The new proposed bill would have required the Citadel to do so. If the law passes, South Carolina would become the 19th state to require reporting child sexual abuse claims. Natalie Cowla, ABC News 4. And the proposed penalty would be up to six months in jail and a $500 fine. State lawmakers say that could change during the judicial hearing.